Now to a school scare. A search for a missing phone leads to an unnerving discovery. A loaded gun found in a student's backpack. It's a busy news night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Marley Ginter. The situation ended with a Fairfield High School student in handcuffs. CBS 13's Madison Keevy live for us in Fairfield with our top story in Madison. Walk us through this. How did that loaded gun get onto campus? Tony, this high schooler had it in his backpack, walked right onto campus as any other student, and kept quiet about it on the other side of these gates until around noon when he asked a staff member to come outside. And seeing that, that's pretty scary. A loaded firearm and an extended magazine. Not what anyone wants to find inside a high schooler's backpack. To have something that could take someone's life or their own. Um, that's terrifying. A community member that lives a block from Fairfield High School said she's grateful it turned out the way it did. That in the middle of a search for a cell phone, as admin went through backpacks, the principal says the student asked a staff member to go outside, away from his classmates. At that point, disclosed that they had something on them that they should not have on them and um, ended up taking it out and handing it over to staff. The principal told us the high schooler admitted he brought this gun to school. The staff member alerted the safety team and all district SROs stepped in as backup. We had conversations with the student as to why this may have occurred and uh, I, can, I can definitely say that there, there was remorse. When asked about changes, the school's principal said they will be working with teachers to continue to heighten the level of safety. And as for a message to the families, hours after a potentially dangerous situation was avoided. If we are facing safety concerns outside of school, um, our staff can still help. That student felt comfortable enough to come to their, their teacher um, or the principal, whoever it was they turned it into, and, and feel comfortable enough to have that conversation. That high schooler faces three felony charges, all related to firearms. And tonight, he's in the Solano County Juvenile Hall Detention Facility, about 10 minutes away from this campus. I also asked Fairfield Police about moving forward for the rest of the week if there will be a heightened presence of law enforcement on this campus. He said because of that partnership with SROs, that presence is already in place. 